Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got Ak right with us again. Of course, he's our, our boxing analyst and expert. expert. And we got a special guest in the building, Ryan Garcia. What's up? How are you, sir? How's it I'm going? Good. How you doing? I'm blessed. Well, thank Black you guys for favorite. having me. Like this is special for me. Thanks for joining Happy to us. Have you, man. I always watch your guys' stuff and. It's just cool. He's not capping. I seen Ryan, this was some years ago, at the garden. Was it the garden? I think it was the garden, and you told me that. Yeah. 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 Damn, that was a long time ago. I think that might have been Canelo's first fight on the zone. It might have been, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yep. But how are you, man? How you feeling? I'm good. I'm all right. You about to fight uh, Devin Haney? Devin Haney. You ready for that smoke? I was real is he ready for the smoke? Because at the end of the day, you know, he can't do shit to me. You don't, you know, he can't crack an egg. So it's really going to be a hard <laughs> night for him. 12 rounds of just being in there with me is going to be, you know, I'm scared for him. You know, I've I just been praying he's going to be okay. That's it. I, I know what <laughs> I'm about to do. I know what I'm about to do. Don't worry about me. I got this. You got it? I got this. Y'all fought like six times already, right? Yeah, three and three. Three and three? It was the amateurs, though. Okay, okay. So he beat you three times, you beat him three yeah, times? Yeah. Like, were they like close fights? Was it knockouts, TK? He never or... beat me, like, convincingly, you know. Um, every time I beat him, I had him rock like this. You know, telling him, mm. oh, my eardrum is broke. Like, I did him dirty every time I won. Mm -hmm. Every time he won his points, like barely, you know, they're only three rounds. So if, you know, the fight doesn't really play out the mm -hmm. way it should. You yeah. know, when when I, I watch you walk in the room now, you, uh, uh, I didn't you know what you were doing just now. You was just like, I was like, what the <laughs> fuck, Ryan? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you gotta know you sitting down with Ryan. Ryan, Ryan you, you can hit him. him. That was you wild. can hit him one good time. Wild. You can hit him one good time. That was wild, bro. <laughs> Uh, that's the wrong one to, to be playing with, Charlamagne. Like, you gotta stop. Like, I just wanted one. Just go again. Do it again. Do it again. Nah, that ain't right. Damn. What were you saying? Yeah. I, no, I was saying that. I can't even drink my water. Right now. <laughs> now you good. You good. Are you sure? Yeah, you good. You good. Okay. Take a sip. <laughs> Look okay, at I'll... you. Look at you. <laughs> you didn't have to, to take a sip. That was no, crazy. no. Look, right. You, you so you're so much different than you were from. I remember. When you signed a golden boy, right? Mm -hmm. the, the type of fighter you were, you were not naive in a sense, but you was just happy, right? You walk in like such more of a businessman now, right? What what would you tell 19, 20 year old Ryan now? Like, do, do you have any regrets in the decisions that you that you've made? Mm -mm, I have no regrets. I, I think I did everything correct. Um, everything evolves, you know. First, you come in, you're happy, you're ready to get your career started, and then you understand, like, oh shit, this is a business. Like, let me lock in because these dudes trying to play me. And then after a while, you know, you become your own boss. And that's what happened with me. Mm. Simple. Were you yeah. shocked that Haney uh, accepted the fight? Nah, not really. Like, I don't know. When there's a big bag, I mean, I'm not shocked about anything. Mm -hmm. You know, you yeah. get paid, you know, $10 million plus. I mean, it's going to be hard to say no. So. Mm -hmm. If you already fought so many times, why do people think that it's still a chance that you'll drop out of the fight? Because they like they like to run with any narrative about me, like oh he's mm -hmm. weak, he's soft. I mean I heard it all. So any time mm -hmm. they have a chance to like make it seem like I'm like that, they get they get to it. Why do they think that? Why do they always say that that you soft? And why why do they always push that narrative he's when it pretty. comes to you? That's literally definitely. Look, he has the same problem. Baby. He does yeah. not have yeah. that same problem. Yeah. Yeah. I know you're right. Dude, you're you're right. He is no, not pretty do. nowhere. Don't put <laughs> that in his mind. I'm handsome. Nowhere. Talking about he, I'm handsome. handsome. You're not you know handsome. I'm handsome. Wow. The fact that he's I'm handsome. No, no, no. All right, all right. No, but how did that fight come about? Your lawyer Lupe said that it was just him, Bill. And Devin, oh, and they dang. just made. Oh, dang. <laughs> come on, bro! I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> no, I'm saying like how the fight came about. Like how was it made? Was it was it really just Lupe, Bill, and Devin, and he called you say, "Hey, the fight is made." No, no, no. I, I like I made a poll on Instagram. No, no, it was on to the Twitter. mic, to the mic. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I had a poll on um, Twitter that said, uh, "Who do you want me to fight, Haney or or Rollies?" It was like 54, or 47, or something like that. Like the percentages. So I said, "Okay, I'm gonna fight Haney." And then I, I told my team, go make that fight happen. And then obviously a lot of other shit happened after that. But that's basically what The happened. rumors were that Floyd gave you advice and said, you know what, the Devin fight isn't a big business fight. The Roly fight is better business fight. That was the narrative mm -hmm. on the internet. Is there any truth to that? No, no, it's not a narrative. That's the truth. You know, we went on a run. <laughs> we started hanging out. And then he was like, this ain't it. That's not the move. And I was mm -hmm. like, I don't listen to nobody. But, I mean, obviously I'm going to listen to Floyd. So I was like. He's influential to me because I looked up to him. So I was like, 
all right, dude, I'm going to just trust you. Like, I'll just fight that dude Rollies and knock him out. Like, that's not hard. And then I'll fight Devin someday, somehow, later. Mm -hmm. But then I felt bad because I already gave the people my word. And then I'm like, damn, bro, I gave the people my word. He said, some things change. I'm like, all right, whatever. Anyways, that wasn't the right move because I feel like once you say something and you give the people your word, you should stick to it. Mm -hmm. And I didn't do that. So I learned a lesson. Like, I'm never going to do that. I'm not going to listen to Floyd, nobody. Mm -hmm. If I gave my word to the people, I'm just going to do it and see what happens later. Why would Floyd, y'all know better than me, but why would Floyd think a Roley fight is a more lucrative fight? I would think Devin easily. He's saying because Devin only sold X amount of pay-per-view buys and, you know, he, he, you know, he, he makes people lose money in their fights, you know, in his fight. So he's like, that's not the right move. But, but Roley hasn't sold any pay-per-views. Yeah, you're the draw. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm going to bring the draw anyways, you know. Um, I just think me and Devin have a lot of history. To me, it makes sense. I'm ready to beat his ass. Like, I don't like any of them, you know, him or his daddy, especially his daddy. But um, You really don't like them, like, I personally? Not like Why does it get so all? personal with you? Oh, yeah. Because they're the fakest people in the world. They'll so smile like, Ryan, you know, we're so happy, but meanwhile, they're ready to stab you in the back. I don't like people like that. I see right through it. That's fake. You're phony. Like, that's why I came right at them. Like, no, because they try to lower my guard down by being really nice. I was on the phone with Haney, and he was being laughing and telling me I need this. And then I told my security, I said, something don't feel right. I said, I'm going to work on it. Don't worry. I hang up, and I'm like, oh, I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to soften me up. You know, he's trying to play me. I, I, I sent him a text, and I have it right here. Fuck you. Get off my phone, bitch. Started off just like that. Oh, right Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. If you make this man stand up one more time. Lord, Lord. No, you don't got to. I don't oh believe you. I don't believe you. I got to see. I got to see. He that. Yes, He's see. such an instigator. You know, this is Devin Uncle. That is not true. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I do, I do want to see it, though. But when you, when you, when you take a fight <laughs> personal, like that, doesn't that kind of leave you open to getting hurt because you might go in with too much emotion? Yeah. yeah. No, I know how to handle that. Okay, let me see. Okay. You got to get through all them ladies. Yeah, uh huh. Pretty so. That's what that is. I just. I'll just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me see. I want to find the first one. Uh, so you got a more screenshot. Of course. Oh, he got them ready. Is that motivation for you? I just, it's funny to me. Oh, there we go. You don't like when people betray goes, him. I go, it was a great chat, Bill. I basically was telling him, like, he's. I'm talking to Bill. I ain't mm -hmm. talking to him. I said, um, tell Devin, I said, what's up? I just want you to know, straight up, I'm coming for your neck. I'm leaving no crimes. Remember that. Don't lose sight of that. No mercy. Remember that. Remember the DMs. And then I hit him with, oh, yeah, right here. We aren't friends. You aren't shit. Remember that. I'm ready to make this fight. Don't kill it. Acting like the ace. I, I try to be cool, but you keep playing around. I'm fucking going on phone calls, but the truth is I don't need you at all. I'm pissed because it was a waste of time. You are over-evaluating yourself and wasting my time. Oh, yeah, that ain't what you said earlier. Earlier, you yeah. said, fuck that pussy-ass bitch-ass. Fuck bitch-ass. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> 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 Damn. Yeah, Damn. Nah, but yeah. How, how did you handle recovering from the loss from, from Javante Davis? Like nothing, Mentally. I just say, what's next? Like That was whatever for me. You know, I wasn't at my best. Uh, and, and it's no excuse. It's just the truth. When somebody handicaps you that much, why would you be mad? Okay, mm -hmm. you basically handicapped me. I lost. I still went in there, fought my ass off. I knew I was gonna lose because I was weak in the back room for the first time. I'm like, I got no power. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. But I put it up with God, and, and I, I had a spiritual victory, not a physical victory. You know, I felt like I did something for, you know, God and. Um, and I walked out to a worship song, first time ever, in front of, you know, all those people. So I felt like, you know, I did what I had to do. If he ever comes sees me at 140, you know how I'm going to do it. You know, I'm going to beat him. He can't beat me when I'm at my, my full strength, guarantee. So that's he why was, you said you felt powerless because of the, the, the oh, weight? Oh, yeah, all, all the, you know, nobody would take those clauses. Nobody, I don't care who you are. Mm -hmm. you know so does I mean? that fight play out differently at 140 with you and Tank? Oh, 100%, yeah. Yeah, I mean, now I got strength and I, my brain is there. Like, when you're super dehydrated, you can't even think. Just mm. like, fuck, what's going on? Um, and I still almost got his ass. You know, we, we, he, the round he dropped me is the round I had his ass, you so, know. So you would entertain that fight if he came up to 140? A hundred percent. You know, he has to come see me because he's not going to make money without me. So. Mm. 
It's like it's gonna happen. Do you think Every- the boxing game is changing as far as records are concerned? Because at one time nobody ever wanted to lose because of Floyd, of course, right? It's but changing, now it seems man. like it's starting to change back where boxers are taking chances. They're not afraid to lose, and it's it's more of a sport and fun now. Yeah, I think it's um it's slowly changing. You know, I think it started off uh, with, with my fight with Tank. Yeah, I ripped it off like a bandaid. Like this shit is boring. I was getting bored in the sport. Like mm. this shit is boring. Like I'm winning and it's like all good, but it's just boring. There's no energy here. It's dead. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm gonna just fight Tank. Envy's learning boxing. That was a good question. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, so um, mm-hmm. basically, it, it was it was dead, and then I, I lit it right up, and then everybody started fighting. You seen Crawford fight mm-hmm. Errol. Mm-hmm. Um, then everybody's just making moves. Next it's got to be Canelo. He has to fight Benavidez. That that will keep the boxing going. But we were just talking about that this weekend. Does he yeah. have to though? I think he does. How really? So? I mean, I mean he, he hasn't hasn't he accomplished enough where he doesn't have anything else to prove? But what what is that? Who who wants to live in the past all time? This is now. This is gonna be a, the this is the biggest fight to make. People expect you. You're you're Canelo, the face of boxing. Why aren't you doing it? Who wins that fight if it happens? Canelo. But so you see him beating Benavides. Unless he waits too long, you know, and then he gets past his uh, his Prime. prime so, I mean, it's not gonna be easy. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. And uh, you know, Canelo will get touched up, but I think he can outbox Benavides. I think he, I yeah. think his experience will get to mm-hmm. to Benavides. Do you do you think you will ever work things out with Canelo? Are y'all a better terms now? Or? I try to message him all the time, like let's golf, let's do something. Like we're good. He I doesn't mean, respond. Yeah, little things here and there. <laughs> Nothing crazy. What caused that riff? Because, you know, y'all was like big brother, little brother at one point. I don't even know, to be honest. It was just, I don't know. He just, he would say stuff about me for no reason. And I was like, bro, you're like, that's crazy. Just call me up and tell me like, oh, I I need you to be doing this. I went through a real mental health crisis. I I mean, I don't care what nobody says. Mm -hmm. That was real. So, you know, they could say I faked it all they want. You weren't in my shoes. You know, you didn't, you didn't feel the things I felt. And, you know, I just, I took it on the chin, though, but he made me look like a clown. What did, what did he criticize? He said that um, I'm wasting time, my talent. Oh, and it was during my mental health crisis. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, fuck, whatever. But it made me look like the weakest dude on the internet. Mm-hmm. You felt like he should have called you. That's big bro. He should have called, checked. Bro, he made bro. everybody look at me like an undisciplined kid. And I'm like, bro, I'm the hardest worker in the fucking gym. What are we talking about? And he picked Tank to beat you. You think that offended nah, you? No, I don't care about that, dude. I mean, it is what it is. I think that uh, what you did when you took a mental health break was one of the strongest things a person could do. Yeah. You know, especially a person in a, in a field like, like, like boxing, because y'all just supposed to be tough mm-hmm. and, and, and thug it out. But for you to be like, nah, mm-hmm. I got to focus on what's important, which is my mental and I, emotional I, well-being. I had no choice. It was, yeah. like, so intense that I'm like, man. Like, usually I could get past things because I'm mentally strong. But this one, was it was like, Nope, you're not getting up today. I'm like, damn. Mm. So it was depression? It was everything. I thought I was losing my mind. I was like, I can't remember shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, there's no way I got hit that hard. Wow. There ain't no way. Oh, this is after the tank Campbell, fight? Gamble. It was okay. after Campbell. This is 2021. Okay. No, a tank fight. I was good. Next day, I was chilling. But um, yeah, that fight, it wasn't, it was another thing he did to me. It was just, it was deep, man. I mean, if I if I was going to go in, like, I'll tell you the real story story of it. Like, I had a supernatural spiritual experience. I, I, can, mm. I can't even, I don't even, it don't make no sense. Was you on something? No, I don't do drugs, what? nothing. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. just prayer, and nighttime, boom, it happened. And I was like, and I was good for a long time, but then I, I started logically trying to think about it, like, what just happened to me? Mm-hmm. And then that tripped me out, and then I just started going, like, then, then I just got depressed because I didn't know what happened to me. I always believe in God, though. I'm very spiritual. Absolutely. I feel energy like quick. I, I could sometimes I could just know what you're gonna say before you say. It's crazy, but this time it was just something different. It was like, yo, okay, this is real. It's happening to me, um, and then it just took me time to like process it, mm-hmm. and then come back to God and say, what was that? You Did know? you get a therapist, a spiritual leader? Like no, what? just one day. Like I was playing poker, and I was just like depressed, drinking, and this dude comes up to me and goes, hey, can I talk to you? I'm like. And I was just like, yeah, bro, I guess. And at this time, I'm already checked out. I don't really care. And then he goes, uh, do you know who you are? I said, yeah, I know who I am. And then he goes, uh, you know, God has something for you. Like, what are you doing? Like, wake up. And then, boom, I just snapped out of it. And wow. after that, I was like, all right, getting right back to it. Wow. Yeah. So, wow. That's amazing. You know, when Canelo was here, he he talked about uh, you, the relationship with you and Oscar. He said that he saw 
issues coming between you. Remember that, Charlotte? Mm -hmm. and, Absolutely. Uh, has, have things gotten better with you and Golden Boy and Oscar? Mm -hmm. I don't like I don't like non peaceful situation, so I got a, I got Oscar in the thread with my advisor and I said work it out. People don't like you, Oscar. Why is that? I don't know. Fix it, because I'm not gonna work with, with none of you guys if you guys keep doing this. This is bullshit. You making me look stupid. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they all started talking, and then me and Oscar talk regularly now, so it's all good now. Yeah. You think the him seeing you hang around Floyd put pressure on him to act right? I don't think so. I mean, I don't know how much you get. Maybe they don't. They probably don't like each other at all. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's not my problem. You know, that's your guys' thing. I like Floyd. I like Oscar. And that's what I'm about. You know, I don't. I'm not trying to pick a side. Like, right. it is what it is. You know, Floyd's cool as fuck. He's dope. He gives me a lot of advice. Mm -hmm. I see how he runs his little, you know, his little empire. And I'm like, okay, I peeped that. Okay, I'm going to do that. Boom, boom, boom. So. I like being around Floyd. After the, after the loss. And Floyd's fly. Yeah, yeah he's fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was, yeah. Oscar used to be fun back in the day, you know? Shut so up. That's a good Cocaine. Okay, okay, bro, shut up. I'm shut up. <laughs> oh, that's a different fun, bro. Different cool. type of fun. Yeah. Yeah. High heels and all that. <laughs> you want to say that? Oh, I was not going to say yeah, that. Yes, she was. No. I was, was going to ask, you know, after the, after the loss and he didn't come to your locker room, right. what, what was your mind frame then? I mean, it was really the people, like, influencing me, like, damn, that hurt. I didn't really care. At the, if I'm going deep down in my heart, like I don't really care, like bro, don't show up. I don't care. Like I'm chilling. I don't believe that, Ryan. No, I, I, I cared. It. You did. <laughs> you know, I mean, just as a honestly casual watching. I, I, after like I processed, it, I'm like, that is pretty fucked up. Mm. Like, wh why wouldn't you show up after I just lost a big ass fight? But you said mm. that was people in your ear. Uh, no, it was like the internet. The internet. They made some sad ass edits. That you'd be like, damn. <laughs> 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 Like you like the, the like Will Smith sitting in the house by himself. Yeah. Remember when Will was crying about his dad yeah, leaving? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was like yeah. I was like, oh shit, I'm sad. What the hell? <laughs> hey, you threw shots at Bernard too. Have you guys? Oh, talked? No, I don't. Bernard's a weirdo, bro. Straight up. So you haven't pieced this? No, we, we, ben, Bernard's just weird, bro. Like, dude, why are you talking shit about me? That was crazy. Off the rip, he just looked at me like boxing will call your bluff. I'm like, bro, you're weird. And then I, I like. I don't like. I don't want to flame these guys, but I end up doing it, and I feel bad mm -hmm. because they're older than me, and they can't keep up with my. And then they just end up looking dumb. I'm like, bro, all right. Look, you feel I'll, like they started with you first, though. Yes, they've been starting with me first all the time. They take shots. I'm their biggest fighter, and they're talking shit about me. I'm the only one bringing them money. But it makes you feel bad after because you don't want to be that That's person. That's not my character. I'm that. cool. Yeah. Like I'm chill. Like let's let's work it out. But he doesn't seem he wants to work it out. I I me and Oscar are perfectly fine. So Bernard hit me up. Let's talk about it. Boxing will call your bluff. Makes it feel like he never thought you was an elite fighter. Exactly. He wanted me to retire. Oh, Damn. What the fuck. I was like, that's not your decision. First of all, um, and then second of all, you know, you only lost one fight. What do you mean retire? I don't know what he was talking about. And then, um, and then I came back and I beat Dorte and I looked great. And finally, I was strong. I felt like I was coming into my prime. Like now, I feel like I'm gonna run through everybody. Like, I feel like I got played once, great, never again, and now I'm ready to come destroy. I'm coming back for blood. Like, literally, everybody's going to get it. Move out the way. What did they say after the, your last one? Which one? Do Oscar and Bernardo, did they say anything? Oh, else? I turned up on everybody after I won. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, you thought I was going to fucking lose, right? <laughs> That's what I fucking thought. But I just got turned up after yeah. the emotions. Do you but, really uh, feel that, that, that Oscar and Bernard thought you would lose course, to Duarte? Of course, man. Mm. They they think that, you know, dudes that are strong going to pit the pressure. He thought that, you know, he, he did hit hard. I give him that. But there's no way this guy's going to beat me. I'm too experienced. I've been doing this since I was seven. Like, you think I haven't met a guy that pits pressure and could hit hard? You don't think I've ever dealt with that? Like, come on. I'm not going to lie. I did think that, too. Not, not, not and, and just, just, mm. I was look, I was looking at Duarte. I'm like, strong the man. size. You look like a young Canelo almost. That's why I told him. Yeah. Like, oh, like, first, you thought Duno was going to beat me. He was the mm -hmm. next Manny Pacquiao. I knocked him out of one round. And then I was like, now they got this guy. Every time we're in beef, they send somebody in mm -hmm. to try to get me. And then they never do. You thought he was going to lose that fight? I, I did for just a split second because I didn't know how how mentally you had recovered from the tank fight. That's smart. That's a, you know I, what that's I mean? a good assumption. But <laughs> at the end, like, I already knew I was going to win. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, who's going to go into a fight thinking they're going to lose, though? But I could have lost that fight if I wasn't on point because he could have knocked my ass out. He mm -hmm. hit hard. Like, mm -hmm. I got hit. I'm like, fuck. 
hit me in the back of my head. I'm like, oh shit. And you was doing that mm. weird shoulder roll shit. I'm like, what the fuck? You but been around for too though. long. But did I get hit though? No, but it just looked crazy. Thank God. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, hey, bro, I don't doing? care what it looked like. If I don't get hit, I'm hit. It looked out of character, but you, you, were, you weren't getting hit. But I'm working on it too. But no, Derek wasn't happy good. with that. No, no, no. I what did he say in the corner? Like stop doing that shit. <laughs> Why were you doing that? Cause I did, if y'all didn't even, y'all, you didn't train like that. I did a couple things like that okay. in sparring, mm -hmm. but I just I was tired of him putting pressure, so I just stood right there and let him well off, and I was just trying to catch shots so I could break his momentum, because in the fight I could keep him off as long as I can, but sooner or later his pressure. So I just met the pressure and I just said, okay, come on. But that she was damn near turning around though, getting hit in the back of the head. I'm like, what are you that doing, Ryan? Yeah, you said that's it. No, no, no. But I was just trying to get out the way. But if you watch Floyd, he does the same shit. No, Floyd's shoulder roll is good. I your <laughs> shoulder roll do, do you not make Floyd's was good. Man, your good. shoulder roll was not, was not good. Floyd. Derek, did he have a good shoulder roll? Come on, be honest now. Hey, I don't Come on. think any of them was good, really. Really, even Floyd? I mean, I, I, I'm not talking about him. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody who does them after him. Okay, got you, got you, got you, got you. All I know is Floyd told me it wasn't bad, so, and he's the one that's the best at but it. But if you would have lost the fight, that's what they would have blamed it for on. sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, that shoulder roll did get me cut for the first time though. Mm -hmm. Cause the uppercut slipped in. I didn't know cause the gloves were smaller than the 14 ounce when you're sparring is different. Mm -hmm. I was able to see everything. This one went right in there. Boom. Shit. I started bleeding, but. I don't know if you can play with Haney like that. Haney's not, oh, he don't hit that hard. What are you talking about? This is <laughs> actually a more like relaxed fight for me. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, I'm gonna go in there. I know I'm fighting a boxer. It's not a, f like to him, it's a boxing match. To me, it's a fight. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go run him over. He can't do nothing. It's like a kid. Like, okay, swing, swing, swing. Boom, my turn. My turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, he, looked good. he could look good against Progre. Were you impressed with that look performance? Good in, bro, what are you talking about, bro? So tell me. Tell me what They're, wasn't good about He's that. mid, bro. That fight's <laughs> That's a new bro, talk bro. now. Mid, <laughs> mid, <laughs> mid. <laughs> That's a new talk. A little midi. What are you talking about? He's mid, bro. Is this fight going happen in New York or, or Vegas? Yeah. I thought they moved it to Barclays already. They're did, trying did they move to. it to Barclays? I know they're trying. I don't to. even want to get into this, but I just pay per view. Baby. Get into it. <laughs> no, no, because <laughs> there's a lot going on, a lot of moving pieces. I don't want to say too much about. Well, it. Well, we saw your tweet. I'm trying to bring this fight back to, <laughs> to Vegas, Vegas, right? Yeah. Okay, you I'll speak that. on that. Yes, yeah. I am. That's what I'm gonna do, because you know I just look at New York is a great place to fight. Obviously, they had great fights. You know, Muhammad Ali and a lot of amazing. But that's at the Garden. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm being real, Barclays is not the Garden. I like the Barclays, but I feel like this fight should be at the Mecca of Boxing, the current Mecca of Boxing, which is Vegas. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, it was New York, but times change. It's mm -hmm. in Vegas. Is it change. because of the tickets, the uh, what you can get in Vegas as opposed to what you get in New York ticket sales? No, I'm just looking for the right vibe. I just don't feel like the Barclays is the vibe. Mm -hmm. I think Vegas, you know, it's going to be fun. Everybody's going to have a great time. Like, it's just going to go crazy. Yeah, you know? but if it ends up being in New York, we're in New York, like... New Yorkers are going to be like, Barclays What's is up a with? great atmosphere for fights. I ain't going to fight. Yeah, I've, I've seen some really good fights. I saw uh, Wilder Ortiz, number one at Barclays. Oh, that was good. I've seen a few fights at Barclays. Tank, Tank Rowley was at. Tank Rowley. Yeah, yeah. You, you were there. I was there. I, didn't know it was with Barclays, yep. I know, I lost up. And you paid him the next day. Of course. Yeah, it sucked. Is it better yeah. to train for you? Is it better training for you in Vegas? No, I train in Dallas regardless. Okay, okay. You know, but um, I just look at If we're looking at a business aspect, Taxes, I'm not gonna pay the New York taxes. You know, I know people they say that a lot, you ain't but lying. it makes sense. Right? <laughs> I'm with you, brother. Okay, now, so. I, now see now if you say that, I, it makes sense. If right. you tell me I don't want to pay the taxes, I totally get it. <laughs> no, That's right, why the right. fight shouldn't be in New York. That is the reason. <laughs> no, but like shout out New York though. Maybe I'll bring another fight there, but I want to fight somebody that has like a connection to New York. Mm -hmm. You know, we're both West Coast mm -hmm. fighters. Like what? Now I don't understand stuff like this. So like maybe the boxing expert can tell me why can't he fight where he wants to fight? I mean, like why is it looked at as a stall tactic? Like why is it? I mean, he can speak to that fight? too, but it's a lot of variables. Like if if the venue is uh, um, available in Vegas on the date that they want, if there's other fights that are close to that date, mm -hmm. it, it, it's not a good look to have like two big back-to-back -back fights. I know Canelo is going to be fighting in, in Vegas like a few <clears throat> weeks after that, right? And maybe yeah. that's that's maybe, an influence. I, I mean, I didn't see him. He hasn't. Had well, a, he hasn't. He hasn't announced a fight, an but and he, he's fought in May every year for how many years? This right? might be my time, though. Mm. It might be my to time. take over Vegas, to yeah, take yeah. over that Cinco de Mayo yeah, yeah, weekend. It might be my time. We'll see. You know, let God's will be done, not mine. But I feel like it's my time. You know, if he's not fighting Benavides, it's not going to be a bigger fight than mine. 
I guarantee I'll, I'll I'll be on the record to say that. So you would think they were one point three, one point three. Yeah, and we haven't they haven't done a million pay per views in so long mm-hmm. since Floyd era. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This fight's gonna be another million pay per view buys, and you know I just feel like I'm the next one. That's it. I mean, I just think I'm looking at numbers. I'm looking at how I could promote. I'm looking at everything. The numbers, like I got it. So I'm right now, like, give me that. Point. Give me that spot. Yeah. I got it. Trust so, me. So you think you you you're a bigger fight or or a bigger star than Canelo right now if he doesn't fight Benavides? Yes. Yes. I'll be on record to say that. I feel though. But look at everybody's gonna you know judge make their opinions. But you know I'm looking at it. I'm looking at how much upside I have too. You know, he, he's on the end tail of his. I'm on the mm-hmm. beginning, really. And I'm only going to get bigger. You know, it's not going to stop. So who's the next one? It has to be me. You know, I should take that May 4th date. You know, Vegas knows. You know, I got all the high rollers will come and everything. Like, I got I got it all figured out. So. What did, what did uh, Duarte fight do? I don't even know. Um, they said that it was all right, you know. But you need a dance partner. That's why I didn't put it on pay-per-view. Yeah, well, okay. But I got you, the zone, so I didn't know. If it but was you gotta be zone. smart. Like people have a lot of ego. All oh, my fights gotta be on paper. No, they don't. Like the ones that don't need, like don't bullshit the people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This fight ain't a fucking pay per view fight. Mm-hmm. Stop capping. Nobody knows Dorte. Why would the hell would I do that? Mm-hmm. That fight was more for me. Like I wanted, I wanted a good fight, and and I did that. So you know, I, I did what I had to do. Mm-hmm. How do you think another loss could affect your legacy? I don't think it will affect me. You know, Manny Pacquiao had eight losses. Uh, he been knocked out cold. I haven't. That hasn't happened to me. I don't. I mean, it's it just if you let it bother you, it's gonna affect you. It don't bother me. If I go out there and I do my shit, and I look good. Oh, you lost. Okay. Did I lose though? But you gotta win though, because you said that. I want to win. I don't. Yeah. I, bro, I'm the most competitive one in the room. I play video games like it's my life depends on it. Mm-hmm. Like fuck this. Ooh, locked in. Like everything I do, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go and win. But you're saying would it affect me? No. Because when you even when you say you're the biggest star in boxing right now, I I can't disagree with that. But I still got to put Canelo number one. But if you would have beaten Tank, I'd be 100%. like, yeah, he's he, you, you biggest star. I'll have to say. But probably I be. think the same thing's on the line here with Devin mm-hmm. Haney. If I win the fight, well, when I win the fight, when I win the fight, um, I'm the top. I'm the top. I, I don't see anybody that could be bigger than me. Mm-hmm. Jake Paul. Oh yeah, I mean, but that's a whole different category. <laughs> but I, I told Jake Paul, let's run it. Like, let's fight. He don't want to fight a real fighter. He's not going to fight you. <laughs> nah, he don't want to fight a real I just messaged him. I was like, bro, we could really do this. He don't want to fight a real mm-hmm. fighter. He know mm-hmm. that'd, be, that'd be stupid. <laughs> yeah. But he's bigger. He's way bigger. I'll come to his way. I'll gain up to 180. I could do it. And let's just run it. Man, you'd go to that? you go to 180? Wow. Mm-hmm. I can. I haven't been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He ain't going to look cut <laughs> up at all, though. It don't matter. <laughs> I ain't trying to look pretty. I'm trying to hurt somebody. You know, at one point you said you wanted to retire at 26. You wanted to accomplish whatever you could in boxing and be out. So though that ship sailed. Like that, yeah, that's no longer. Yeah, because I your... estimate how fast I could get everything done. Did have I done a lot at 25? Yes. So what's the age now? I when think are you like out? 30. 30, you out. 30, I'm out. Because I'm here to fight everybody and run it and win and then dip. You know, I feel like Tank Davis rematch would be my final fight. Like, after I mm-hmm. run through, like, these people, you know, you got Devin, you got Ted Fimo. Shakur. Uh, I mean, I, I might give him an opportunity, but... Uh, it just, I think y'all scared of Shakur. Bro. Nobody's scared of Shakur, bro. <laughs> I think on. y'all be ducking Shakur. Shakur's scared of his shadow, bro. Relax, I think y'all bro. be ducking Shakur. Shakur, right. you see his last fight? Shakur, still. He, he did Shakur. say he, his hand was injured, though. We, we sat down with him. I, I don't know. Do you think that could affect your performance? If you uh, have I, hand? My hand was injured. I couldn't even use the whole training camp with Fonseca, and I knocked that dude out in one round. Don't give me my hand hurts, bro. Everybody's <laughs> hand hurts. You're Shakur, soft. That, that's one the fans want to see, though. No, they don't. Yes, Stop hyping up Shakur. I want to see Ryan Nobody and Shakur. Won. I've Devin not heard that at all. <laughs> yeah. I've never you heard You wouldn't want to see that? I've never I've heard, heard hey, Nobody on the street has ever been like, yo, Shakur, you would be crazy. <laughs> we talk about that all the time. So, you so do. No, man. we do it boxing <laughs> you people. Do. We do. You do. You and yourself. We do. We do. We do. You You yourself. Don't you think Shakur is a really good boxer? He's a good boxer, but it's nothing. It's nothing that stands out to me. It's just okay. You know how to move, blah, 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 but it's nothing like Tank or me or like somebody got to stand out. Like we, yes, you. like you're not just fighting. I anybody. see boxers all the time. We, mm-hmm. I've been watching boxers my whole life. Mm-hmm. I know the ones that are different. He's not different. It's mm-hmm. just, so why is Devin different? Devin is doing everything he can to be non. You know, not normal. You know, mm-hmm. he wants to stand out. He's picking up steam. I think that you, you know. Think he's better than Shakur. 
Yeah, I, I think he's more entertaining than Shakur. I won't say he's better, but I think that his fights are more entertaining. People, mm. you know, rather watch a Devin Haney fight than a Shakur. No, mm. Shakur will do everything, you know, not even to get like an ounce of hitting. Like he's scared to really lock in and get in there. Um, Devin's not. Devin will go and bang a little bit when he has to. So I think our fight is going to be way huger than a Shakur fight. But That's what you banking on. You banking on the fight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I like the knockout. I mean, uh, I mean. I, I People are saying that you can't outbox Devin, that you would have to I knock have him out. I have outboxed him before, though. Right, right. No, I'm saying that's what people told me. They say the- that, but I he knows what he knows. I'm not an easy dude. Like when he's in front of me, it's different. He's been he's felt mm-hmm. the energy. It's not gonna be this fight's not gonna be pretty for him though, because mm-hmm. I'm on a whole different vibe and level. So you got a different strategy. Yeah, my focus is crazy right now. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, just make sure, like, pray that he's okay. I, I mean, that's sir. I'm not even trying mm-hmm. to joke no more. Like, just pray like he's gonna be okay. Like Devin, like go home, enjoy the money, boom, 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 because this is gonna get ugly for him. What message would you leave for Devin? Shit, bro. Uh, Fuck you, bitches. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> no, I got a lot of dark thoughts that came in my brain. I'm just gonna leave <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, just, no, bro. No, no. You like, really don't like them personally. You say him and his daddy, like no, especially his they daddy. So what, what would be the message yeah. for Devin? <laughs> I don't even know. Like I don't have a message. I'm just ready to do something. Else. Whoa. So like if I, I'm going to take that Yo. and put that with that hand Weird. signal. Weird. <laughs> Yo, Jesus. Yes, we are <laughs> done. Crazy, bro. This boy alone. Oh, boy. Listen, you, really, you really want to fight Sean O'Halley? Sean O'Malley, yes. Sean O'Malley, I'm sorry. I would fight him in MMA. Yes, 100%. I'm a natural wrestler. Oh, wow. People don't know I'm strong. You used to wrestle in school or something? No, I'm just natural. You never wrestled before? <laughs> no, I never wrestled, but I wrestled like big dudes that know how to wrestle. It's form and... and I, it, it's just instinct, body language, knowing where his body's going, letting him go, and then throwing him over. It's just, you got to know what you know. I just got a good sense. If I... If I was in the MMA, I would beat him. Did Dana White hit you back on that? I've been, I've been bugging everybody. <laughs> what the? Your DMs keep probably crazy. Why are you DMing all these people? You have people for that, right? I don't care. <laughs> he said, I don't want to get need to it. I need to hear it from them. Word. Yo, yeah. Ron, I got to ask you. You saw a tank just recently <laughs> leaked out a DM between him and Eddie Hearn, right? Like, he's done that several times. I don't he know if that you saw lot. that. Well, what do you think about that? Would you ever leak out personal uh, conversations? I don't know. I mean, I won't say I would never do it, but I've never done it. Mm. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Tank is confusing me. I don't know. He's just, I don't know what he's up to. What do you mean? What do you want? Oh, for the rematch? No, not for the rematch. I mean, what is, oh, he's fighting Frank Martin. Never mind. I know what he's doing. Yeah. You think he's not, you think he's ducking big fights? I think so. Especially Tank. Like, they're, they're all about the business and, you know, I know what they're trying to do, but. That hurts boxing, though, you know? So who, who, should, who should he be fighting? There's a lot of people out there. I, I, I would want him to fight Shakur. Mm-hmm. Why not fight Shakur? Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah. But I, I think I, it's about time that Tank fights a big, big He's man. way older than all of us. Yeah, it's, He's supposed to be like the, the senior. How old is Tank? He's like 28, 29. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because the talk was always like, y'all broke, I'm the A side, yeah. I'm calling the shots, and that's all good, but at some point, you know, you he's fight. almost 30. You got to fight the big fight. And I'm not saying Tank is scared to fight these guys, but there's too much business getting involved mm. in, in the big fights being made. I mm. often wonder if there's more people dealing with mental and emotional uh, health issues than they want to admit. Like when you see fighters like take oh, yeah. a step back, like you were open about it. I wonder what what might be going on in, in Tank's life. You know, you know, <clears throat> trauma, hurt. You know, things yeah. that, yeah. you know, are packed inside. The way he acts, he got a lot of trauma. That's just, he got a lot of anger. Something where he grew up, you know, made him, you know, hit that switch. But yeah. They need to happen. I mean, he's a phenomenal fighter, obviously, mm-hmm. but we want to see those fights. What about you, Ryan? When you was younger, what was it that got you into fighting? Was it people was people picking on you? Was you getting, like, bully? Or what was it? Did you have to prove yourself because you was the, the pretty guy? Like, what no, was I was um, playing baseball, like, at like five, six. And I remember this vividly. I was you know, out there diving for the balls and whatnot, you know, trying my best. And then, you know, we lost, we got fourth place, but I felt my team just didn't put that effort in the way I was doing it. I was mm-hmm. like, bro, well, I can't do this. So I asked my uncle, I was like, is there any sports that are one-on-one? Just show me whatever. He showed me boxing. I said, I'm going to do that. And then I was, I started going to the garage and I was really good. I was like, all right, let's go. But through that, like, 
I had so much confirmations that I'm gonna be a fighter. Like, I had dreams of me fighting in heaven, and, like as a little boy, and then like I fighting just fighting in heaven. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, wow. I, yeah, I had like a lot of vivid dreams like that. Who was you fighting in heaven, Jesus? No, no, I was protecting. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, oh, protecting heaven. Yeah, okay, 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 yeah, gotcha, I wasn't gotcha. fighting. Je- was I'll get my <laughs> <eight> <laughs> You want me to die for real? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Right? <laughs> like fighting in heaven. Okay, protecting right. heaven. That's dope. Yeah. Right. So, um, and then I just had a sense always around me, like okay, like there's guidance, and it just pushed me towards boxing, and you know. It, like and then I was just being really good and then it's all that I wanted to do. Yo, know, that one story says a lot about you. You don't fuck with teams. The fact that you DM everybody <laughs> on your phone, <laughs> you know what I mean? The fact that you went rogue with the shoulder roll. Yeah. You don't like being a part of a team. No, mm-hmm. I do, but sometimes I hit the veto button, like we're going this way. Mm-hmm. You know, like let's just move this way. I, I feel like this is the better move. So. You don't mess with his own team. <laughs> no, yeah. I love my team. What do you mean? I treat nah, my team great. No, no doubt. But if you feel like you can make it happen, then you will do that. Mm-hmm. You know, you'll try to. Sometimes, you know, the only way to do it is do it yourself. You do it yourself. You yeah. stress your team out. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a been a journey. <laughs> How right important now. is the bag versus the legacy of, of winning? I think they go hand in hand. Okay. You know, if, if it's legacy, you better make me a bag. Mm-hmm. You know, if it's a bag, it should have an ounce of legacy there. So I think they go hand in hand like yin and yang. Yeah. You know? it's I don't think it's legacy if I ain't getting paid. Wait, wait, wait. What kind of legacy? Legacy <laughs> doesn't help you after boxing. Right, right. When it's done. I just want to make sure that I get paid well and, and I fight. You know, I feel like boxers should get paid well. They put their life on the line Damn, every time. Right. I feel like they're the most respected athletes. I don't care. You said you want to end with Tank. Uh, if you could pick your next three opponents in your order, who would they be? Uh, you know, um, obviously Devin, and then Teofimo, and then I want to go Sean O'Malley, and then I want to go Tank. Nah, I push mm-hmm. your call with Sean O'Malley. No, you never. run through them. You run through Devin and Teo. Teo. Shakur, and, Shakur. and then rematch with Tank. Rematch with Tank? That'd be big. Uh, That'd be one what? of the biggest runs ever in boxing. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what? So move Sean for Shakur. Yes. yes. That might be a move too. You've been promoting a lot lately. I mean, I'm just saying. That's the, no, you talking uh, about legacy? How long have you been a part of Shakur's fan club? Bro? You know what, I mean? what, what membership he got? Like, he gave you two tickets, bro? You good, bro? I'm just saying, that's the legacy. You do that, you like, oh, okay. It's different. Yeah. Right? yeah. I might do that. Uh-huh. Well, Ryan Garcia, good luck. Sorry, we yes, appreciate man. you for joining us. Thank you so much. Good having yes. you. Good luck, bro. Appreciate that's you, my brother. Right. Thank you for coming, Thank man. You. It's Ryan Thank Garcia. You. Don't be a stranger. It's no, the no, Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.